Have you ever thought that China could be your second home? Zhengzhou and how China gave people a chance to fulfill their little dream. Have you ever heard about Zhengzhou? It is an ancient city which is located in Henan province. Now, let's take a look into the heart of China. The Shaolin Temple, the Yellow River, Kung Fu. That's why I'm here. For me, being China is a dream come true. I am from Russia and I love adventure. My dream is to explore different cultures around the world and Zhengzhou was a perfect start for me. Living in the middle of China and surrounded by many other Asian cities, I have the chance to explore different cultural centers. It provides me with a new way of visualizing the world and giving me a kind of insight that just doesn't come from textbooks. Chinese is the oldest written language still in use. It is quite overwhelming to realize that you have to know more than 3,000 characters, but with patience you will find a whole new world will open up for you. Learning Chinese is an exciting endeavor, but a very challenging one also. When I first came to China, it was quite difficult for me to communicate with people. But with the help of the teachers and my friends, my learning experience became more fulfilling. And finally, I began to communicate with locals much more freely. Chinese arts include calligraphy, kung fu, operas, and embroidery are distinctive and unique. Although the city is modernizing at a fast pace, many traditional aspects still remain very visible in everyday life. Probably writing characters was the most difficult for me, but for elective courses I chose calligraphy class which helped me a lot. One of the highlights of Zhengzhou is the Shaolin Temple. Created by the Buddhist monks 1500 years ago and it's also called by the locals the number one temple under heaven. For people like me, who loves Kung Fu and other martial arts, the Shaolin Temple is the most attractive place to visit here in Zhengzhou. China's high-speed railway reaches a maximum speed of over 350 km per hour. But what about traveling in a city? Usually I take subway because it's cheap, fast and convenient. Sometimes I go to a restaurant to eat some nice Italian pizza, but most of the time I enjoy Chinese street food and just this authentic atmosphere altogether. Zhengzhou University has four campuses. Each campus life is filled with athletics, arts, spirituality and social programming, and all coming with a good quality of living conditions. Most of the time, I don't go out from campus. For me, campus is just like a small city. There is ATM, grocery, and even a hospital. Studying and living in Zhengzhou is affordable. China is becoming the world's third most popular destination for study. It can be partially explained by government-sponsored scholarships. We bear in mind that studying abroad is quite costly. But luckily, I got full scholarship from China for my master and PhD program. I'm really grateful for that. Living abroad 
taught me how to be independent. Being far away from home, I have to take care about things by myself. But here in China, things are much easier than back home. For meals, clothing, rent, bills, taxes, and almost like everything else, paying cash was the norm. However, today, apps like OIP and WeChat are transforming China into a cashless society. Cash is pretty much dead in China. Usually, I shop online because there you can find literally anything you need and you want. The best thing is that delivery usually takes no more than three days. Library is a treasure of a university. Advanced facility is made to ease the process of finding the right book. Sometimes I don't have time to go there. I usually visit our library website to download the material that I need. I'm a big fan of sports and the leader of the sports department. Our campus nurtures our abilities by providing us with different facilities and trainers. We have fields for soccer, courts for volleyball, badminton, basketball, a swimming pool, and even a stadium that can accommodate 17,000 people all at once. I had a choice to live outside or in the school dormitories. I chose to live on campus because it's much cheaper and facilities are good. They have their own laundry room, kitchen, and a study room. So, what about safety concerns? From my experience, I can say that it's quite safe here. Especially in campus, security is very strict. Everyone needs campus card to enter. Police patrol constantly goes around 24-7. There's always a wide selection of meals to choose from the canteen. It serves up traditional Chinese food and some international dishes, which includes vegetarian options as well as halal food. China has developed faster than any other country, and I think studying here is an excellent opportunity. You'll find yourself not only opening up to China, but to the global community. Zhengzhou University has 12 subject categories, such as engineering, science, medicine, business, and arts. As for those who don't know any Chinese, Zhengzhou University also offers degree programs taught in English. One of the biggest hospitals in China is Zhengzhou University First Affiliated Hospital. Studying medicine here, it provides modern state of laboratories and also gets you familiar with Chinese traditional medicine. At first, I was a bit worried that I would find good company here. But very soon, I found out it's a very multicultural environment where you can make friends with people from all around the world. Every day I spend here brings me something new. And I hope I can continue my journey through this mysterious but wonderful country. I love Chinese language. I really want to share the beauty of it with the whole world. Knowing China, learning Chinese, I believe the benefits gained from it will follow me for the rest of my life. This experience has helped me become more open-minded by learning to adapt different environment. I can't wait to go back and share the knowledge that I gained here with my country. We are young. For us, anything is possible. So, we should use every chance we get to explore the world, meet new people, and most importantly, challenge ourselves. Travelers, there is no path. Path is made by walking. All of us have a dream to create the path we want to walk on. Some people dream lead them to Zhengzhou. So, where will your dream take you to?